the Arctic is warming twice as fast as the rest of the Earth. I'm on a race to determine what this really means for all of us. My research takes me to the coldest corners of the planet, studying the release of natural greenhouse gases that speed up global warming. As the ice melts due to rising temperatures, the sea levels rise, the coastal communities get flooded, and there are more frequent and intense weather events. Global warming affects the types of plants that grow and which animals survive. I've been captivated by Arctic lakes since I was young. I love their solitude and the mystery of what lies beneath the water's surface. I've studied more than 300 lakes across the Arctic. These lakes are leaking powerful greenhouse gases that speed up climate warming. Earth's permafrost, the frozen ground beneath most of the Arctic, is turning out to not be so permanent after all. Heat destroys permafrost. Conserving heat is one of the best ways to minimize our impact on the environment. Choosing heat-free technology to lower energy consumption will reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help us slow permafrost thaw in the Arctic. We estimate that up to 10% of the projected global warming this century could come from thawing permafrost. People can have control over how much heat winds up in the atmosphere. We can all play a big part to conserve the magic of this planet for future generations.